The Cars looks to stretch their unbeaten run to 13 league matches this afternoon, a day after management team Gary Hill and Steve Thompson signed two-year deals with the club. Eastleigh lost 4-1 here to Welling last weekend and will be looking to bounce back as they try and get into the playoff places. Reese Noel and Craig Dobson replace Kieran Murta, who has returned to Wickham Wanderers, and James Walker in the starting 11 for Woking. Noel will play at left back while Andy Burgess moves into midfield. And the referee gets this game underway. Huge match between these two playoff contenders. Ian Herring with the throw in. Bounces off Adam Doyle. Miscontrolled by Andy Burgess. And Tony Taggart will latch onto it. Back to Herring. Keeps it in. Looped back into the air by Richard Graham. Tony Taggart with the volley. And easily take the lead after less than a minute. Fine strike from Taggart, who missed out last weekend against Welling. And he's scored on his return. And Woking looks stunned here. Here's Jamie Slabber. And he'll win a free kick from Joe McNerney. Luke Biles will launch it into the area. Chris Holland will win the header. And Slabber's there. Oh, and Eastley have a second after just four minutes. This is an unbelievable start from the home side. And Woking are shocked here. Absolutely stunned. Noel lost out to Holland and Slabber was there. The ex-Woking player making it 2-0 after just four minutes. Wow, what to make of this? Elvis Hammond in the challenge and then Andy Burgess will go down and win a free kick. Jay Davies and Burgess himself over it. Oh, and Burgess has found the bottom corner, and Woking have one back. After 13 minutes, we've had three real chances here at the Silver Lake Stadium, and all three of them have found the back of the net. Excellent free kick from Burgess in off the post. Matthews wasn't far away. Herring with a throw in. We'll look for Tom Jordan. It might come to Holland again. Those two are causing Woking so many problems in the air. Ricketts with the header. Might fall now to Graham. We'll look for Sean McCauley. He tries to cross it in, headed away by McNerney. Graham with the effort, but that won't travel Andy Little. Ricketts. Oh, and that's a poor pass from Ricketts. And it allows in McCauley now. It's just taking the ball a bit too wide. Ricketts tracking back in. Now a chance for Graham to get across in. Oh, and Noel misses out. And in comes the shot from Tony Taggart. And he maybe should have had his second of the game there. Beasley again launching that ball long into the area. This time it's hooked away low. And suddenly Craig Dobson is being set away. Danny Smith's tracking him. Dobson's got the better in low. Can he pick out Hammond in the area? No, not quite. Good defending from Eastley. Andy Murnell with the throw in, looking for Mark Ricketts, who gets a shot away. To the second half here. Tag it over this corner. Delivers it long. Holland with the header. Scored before against Woking for Bar City last season. This time it's Woking's turn to launch the ball in. Doyle managing to hold it up. May come to McNerney. And now could come to Jay Davies with the effort. And then with the throw into Elvis Hammond, who gets the better of Biles and plays it back into Dobson. And there's Andy Burgess, and what a save that is from Matthews. Unbelievable save. Woking still have the ball. Here's Davies. But that's a good challenge from Herring. Dobson's cross, excellent header from Burgess. And what a save that is from Matthews. And what a turning point in this match that could be. Herring with the long throw into the area. McNerney trying to header it away. Smith clips it back in towards the back post. It's still in there, it could come to Taggart. It could come to Graham now. He gets his shot in low. 
and it somehow ends his up in the arms of Andy Little. Jane Davies with the long ball forward. It could come for Dobson, who tries to find Hammond. Good challenge from Herring. Working fans want a penalty, but I think Herring clearly got the ball. But just with the free kick, and Holland there with the header away for a corner. Davies with the corner towards Joe McNerney. Could come to Mark Ricketts on the volley. Here's Richard Graham. Easily having survived that period of pressure. He wins a corner. Good defending from Ricky Annan. Richard Graham with the corner. Tom Jordan with the header. And Eastley have a third. They've got their two goal cushion back. And after a period of working pressure, the home side have maybe made sure that they will go on to win this game now. Jordan, the big centre back, causing endless problems in the air again. And after 59 minutes, it's 3 1. Tag it with the cross in towards the substitute, Jamie Brown. The offside flag was up low on the far side. Hooking okay. playing a dangerous game at the back here. Adam Doyle surging forward. Oh, and leaping in nastily on Danny Smith. Referee quick to get his yellow card out. Doyle seems to think he got the ball. I'm not sure he did. In fact, Adam, I don't think you're anywhere near it. Taggart playing the ball into Sean McCauley, who skips inside and gets a shot away and it hits the outside of the post. He gets with the quick free kick as working, try and get back in this game hurriedly, but that's good play from Herring, who dispossesses Hammond and plays the ball into McCauley and working a really stretched here. And Taggart's gone flying through the middle. It's Tony Taggart, and he's made it four. And surely now that's game over for Woking. His second of the game. He's had an excellent game for the home side as well. And he's tucked that away past Andy Little superbly. Woking were pushing forward and just got caught at the back. Neat finish from Taggart. 69 minutes gone, and it's 4-1 to the home side. James Walker with the ball into Ollie Palmer, who escapes the challenge of Biles, and gets a low cross in, and it goes right along the area. And Warren Goodhind puts it behind. And another corner causes problems. Little has to palm it away, and then block another attempt. And the final whistle goes, and Eastley have won here by four goals to one against the Cards in what is an incredibly tight race for the playoff places now. Woking have a crucial match next Saturday at Kingfield against Welling United. Make sure you're there.